state that Georgia state election officials are saying now an audit report should be out by noon tomorrow on Thursday. That doesn't necessarily mean a full and firm and official vote count, but uh, the next step to that, uh, again, by noon tomorrow. In the meantime, the more crucial development in Georgia, at least for the time being, seems to be those twin uh, runoffs. The Republicans are putting a lot of energy, muscle, and money uh, and know-how into that. Uh, Haley Barber uh, could be a sign of that. The uh, Georgia Battleground Fund National Co-Chair, the former Mississippi governor, the former RNC chair. Uh, if it's a big battle, you bring in the big guns, and he's the big gun. Uh, governor, very good to have you. How do these races look? I know polls are relatively tight. Democrats are pouring a lot of money into this. I know Republicans are. How do you think things look right now? Well, look, these, these races are both going to be very, very close. Senator Perdue did not win the election November 3rd only because he did not get a majority. He got 49.7 or 8. His opponent got about 3% less, still very close. But David Perdue got the most votes any statewide Republican candidate in history has ever received, and he's in a row. Uh, these are going to be close races. In the, in the other race, if you take the combined Republican candidate versus the combined Democrat candidate, only 50,000 votes divided that out of 5 million. And so Kelly, uh, Kelly, uh, Kelly is going to find that she's got to produce every vote. David Perdue has to produce every vote uh, because there's going to be a big turnout. You know, usually in runoff... Yeah. Turnouts aren't very big. This will be a huge turnout, and for both races, uh, Kelly Leffler and and David Perdue both are going to have to just run full speed all the way through the finish line. And I hope every Georgian who worries about the integrity of the presidential race there in Georgia will say, "Well, I'm going to make sure nothing like that can happen on January 5th." because we're not going to give Joe Biden a blank check. And that's what would happen. In the meantime, but in, in the meantime, Governor, a lot of Republicans are worried that a lot of the infighting, particularly with both of the Senate candidates, Republican candidates calling for the state secretary of state, a Republican to resign over his handling of this count, and the president very critical of him as well, and then the president not giving up on his own uh, fight uh, right now, for which he has every legal right to pursue but that um, that might impact these, these Senate races, and not in a good way. Are you worried? Well, I'm worried that people will take it for granted that, uh, that uh, David Perdue and Kelly Leffler will, are just going to be easy. It's not going to be close. The Democrats have spent millions and millions and millions of dollars in Georgia in the last four years for the governor's race, which they lost by a small margin, and for this year. Uh, don't kid yourself. It's going to be a very large turnout. And I hope that the Republicans who are mad or disgruntled will take that out on Chuck Schumer and the Democrats and not give Biden a blank check. If, if these two races were somehow to go to the Democrats, then the Democrats would have 50 in the Senate, the Republicans 50, right. and Vice President Harris would break the tie. That means no filibuster. That means probably D.C. statehood. It means uh, Puerto well, Rican statehood. Do you state. think, Governor, that it's wise, it's wise for anyone to be, you know, ripping the, you know, the Secretary of State, whatever the reasons, or maybe keep it quiet, uh, because there are bigger proverbial fish to fry, and this is just getting in the way? Well, I don't think it will get in the way if people understand the stakes. Now, you know, if you want the Green New Deal, if you want to do away with private health care, if you want to do all the things that Biden and Kabbalah Harris and uh, Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren and Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi have been calling right. for for the last couple of years, don't stay home. Go protect your country by electing these two Republicans. Got it. All right. Uh, well, that was a Fox alert there. So you're for the two Republicans then. That, 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 that's good to know. Um, Haley Barber, yep. seriously, very good seeing you again.
I know you're not getting much sleep through this process, but be well. Haley Barber, the uh, Georgia Battleground Fund National Co-Chair, these crucial, very unusual developments. We have two Senate races in the same state at the same time, but it is as close as a tick. The polls do bear that out. So we'll keep an eye on that.